Hello everyone, welcome back. First of all, I'd like to uh, say a happy new year to all of you and I hope you had a, a wonderful holidays. Today uh, I'm going to be turning this uh, segmented blank uh, that I made um, during the during the holidays. Um, I saw that you guys liked uh, my my previous segmented uh, project, so that's why I decided to do another one. But this time, it's almost twice as twice the size of that blank, and this time it's going to be a, a lidded lidded box. I went with this pattern because. Because I had to think about it and I realized this pattern straight uh, uh, small uh, squares would give us uh, interesting designs the curves would um, would decide the pattern we get so that's why I didn't went with uh, like a chess piece no, ch uh, imagine a chessboard and uh, it been cut, turned, and glued together. That way, when we have a let's say a curve on a lidded box, we wouldn't have the pattern that this would give us. We would just have a like a triangular shape. So I don't like to go with that with that design so I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try with this design we'll see how it goes and then later on I will do another one and chop it up and turn it so we'll see how that goes okay I'm going to true this up now get it nice and uh, true and then I will have a tenon on one side, tenon on the other side for the lid and then I decide where to part it off. Okay, I got my uh, lid uh, parted off and I just wanted to show you guys um, this is this is the one of my projects that I did uh, a couple of months ago I'm sure those who watched it would remember it's very nice little box I want to try and see if I could um, um, make the same one out of this uh, segmented piece because I want to see how this would look as a segmented piece because of the uh, the curve it has I think we will, we will get a nice pattern But uh, I won't do it uh, like this uh, because I've got more room. I can part it off. It's a very nice tight finish on this. So I'm gonna try and get the same uh, shape. So we got something to compare at the end. Uh, I would always uh, go for the natural uh, uh, English U because it's my favorite wood. But I'm sure this will turn out uh, beautiful. So what I'm going to do is now sh shape uh, shape the outside 
and then uh, I'll hollow the inside and we, we move on to the lid. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to sand this and then I'll come back and show you guys the rest. Okay guys, I've sanded to 400 grit and I'm going to try out uh, Yorkshire grit. A lot of, a lot of wood turners use this. So I'm gonna give it a try, see, see how it is. I'm sure it's it's a great product but i haven't used it yet so let's see Oh yeah, that's <laughs> that's really good. I just need to do this part a bit more. It's a tricky place um, because of the shape I did. Oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> you guys uh, obviously can't feel how smooth that that just get, but uh, trust me, it's very, very, very smooth. So now I'm going to uh, apply a micro crystalline wax. So I'm going to apply two more coats. Uh, I'll let it dry for 20 minutes and then uh, I apply another coat.
Alright guys, it's all done. I really like how how uh, the lid turned out because as you saw, I had to uh, guess guess the the diameter here at the end. I knew roughly because because uh, because of this part. So yeah, I'll show you guys up close if we focus. And I like how this turned out. Uh, I was worried uh, I wouldn't get this kind of shape, like. Uh, divided between but it turned out just the way I want it I'll show you guys the inside I've hollowed all the way so it's got an uh, this one one thing I didn't like was the uh, smaller uh, uh, diameter here you know 
you could only put in like a uh, rings uh, necklaces stuff like that but this one's uh, it's a bit better so that's it for today I will I will have some pictures at the end for you guys to see better uh, if you like the video uh, liked what you saw please hit the like button it, it really helps and uh, please subscribe if you haven't done already uh, I appreciate all you guys watching till the end I, I'll try to make it smaller but uh, uh, the process was as you saw it's a long process and it's hard to uh, get it under the 10 minutes so uh, I got a feeling it will be around a uh, 20 minute video so thank you all who who watch it till the end I appreciate it and one thing I just wanted to mention I got my uh, my sticker and if anybody uh, wants to uh, swap stickers uh, send me a, a private message on on the YouTube or Email me at uh, craftwithafshin at yahoo.com and I will post uh, my uh, my sticker to you and if you could post yours I will stick it to my wall. So yeah. Thank you all for watching. I'll, I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Take care.